This document gives an example of how to use maximum minimum slopes to calculate uncertainties for linear graphs. So an XY graph with error bars is shown on the following page. So here's a graph with four points with error bars. Now remember that the error bars for a point mean the actual value could be anywhere inside this little rectangle. If we speak of a line that crosses the error bars, what we mean is that it actually touches each of the rectangles for each of the points. So this line is made between the opposite corners of the first two points and it crosses the rectangles of the others. You'll notice these first two points are highlighted in red to show that these are the points that the line is made to connect. The slope and y-intercept for a line for any line like this can be calculated as usual. So for a line to be valid as a line of maximum or minimum slope, it must cross all of the error bars. If it's a maximum or a minimum, then that means it must just touch the corners of two rectangles. If it wasn't just touching the corners of two rectangles, then you could make it steeper or less steep by moving it to those corresponding corners. So that means the number of possible lines to check for either the maximum or the minimum slope is n times n minus 1 over 2 if n is the number of data points. Because the leftmost point has to be checked against all the ones to the right of it, the next point has to be checked all the ones to the right of it, and so on. So if the slope of the graph is positive, then the line of maximum slope will be from the lower right corner of the left point to the upper left corner of the right point. The line of minimum slope will be from the upper left corner of the left point to the lower right corner of the right point. If the slope of a graph is negative, then the line of maximum slope will be from the lower left corner of the left point to the upper right corner of the right point. And the line of minimum slope will be from the upper right corner of the left point to the lower left corner of the right point. That sounds pretty confusing, but here it's easy to see it graphically. So. If this is a graph with positive slope, then the line of maximum slope you see comes from the lower right of this one because our x-coordinate is increased by its uncertainty and the y-coordinate is decreased by its uncertainty. And this corner, the y-coordinate is increased by its uncertainty and the x-coordinate is decreased by its uncertainty. So for a line of minimum slope, we're going from these corners instead. So now, here, the x-coordinate is decreased and the y-coordinate is increased. Here the x-coordinate is increased and the y-coordinate is decreased. So those are the appropriate points for, the line of, for a graph of positive slope. If we have a graph with negative slope, then it looks like this. So for the line of maximum slope, here the x-coordinate is decreased and the y-coordinate is also decreased. Here the x-coordinate is increased and the y-coordinate is increased. For the line of minimum slope, here the x is increased and the y is increased. Here the x is decreased and the y is decreased. So, for those four points again, with a positive slope, here are the candidates for the line of maximum slope. So here we have the point connecting the corners of points 1 and 2. Here we have connecting points 1 and 3. Here we have connecting points 1 and 4. So now we have points 2 and 3, and points 2 and 4, and finally point 3 and 4 gives us all of the possibilities. So here are the choices for the line of minimum slope. We'll have the same combinations. 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 1 and 4, that is actually a different line. If you look at this end, you'll see there's a slight movement of this point as we switch between points 3 and 4. Points 2 and 3, points 2 and 4, and finally 3 and 4. So now, let's look at the candidates for maximum slope again and eliminate the ones that don't cross all of the rectangles. So, what I've done in the following figures is circled the rectangles that are missed. So. This one doesn't miss any rectangles, so it's possible. And I've given the slope and the y-intercept here. This is using points 1 and 2. 
Connecting points three, 1 and 3, we notice that both points 2 and 4 are missed. Connecting points 1 and 4, this one actually misses point 2. It's hard to see it on this scale. So here's a blow up, and you'll see that it just barely misses, so it wouldn't really be very wrong to include this line as a possibility. This one between points 2 and 3 clearly misses 1 and 4. This one between 2 and 4 clearly misses point 1. And this one also misses point 3, just by a tiny amount. So the only one that didn't miss any points was the one connecting points 1 and 2, so that's our line of maximum slope. Now, for the line of minimum slope, we can do the same thing. So here we have points 1 and 2, 3 and 4 are clearly missed. Point 2 is clearly missed. This, again, is almost the same line, but it's not quite. If you look at this end, you can just barely detect a motion, so these are actually two separate lines. This one touches all of the rectangles, so it's possible. This one misses point 0.3, and this is miss one's point 0.1 and 2. So the only line that didn't miss any points was the ones connecting points 2 and 3, so that's our line of minimum slope. So here's the graph showing both lines. So the resulting line of maximum slope gives us this slope and y-intercept. The resulting line of minimum slope gives us this. So the uncertainty in the slope is the difference between the maximum minimum divided by 2, which is 0 0.09, and the uncertainty in the y-intercept is the maximum minus the minimum divided by 2, which is 0 0.31.